हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस साइड राहुल मगन हेयर एज अ चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ ट्रेजी कंसल्टिंग एल एल पी एंड टूडे वी वुड बी कवरिंग अ वीडियो विच इज ऑन कैलिप्सो एज अ ट्रेजी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम वेयर बाय वी वुड बी कवरिंग अ वीडियो ऑन जीरो कूपन कर्ब्स विद ऑफसेट पॉइंट्स दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो एंड दिस वीडियो पर्टेनिंग टू ऑल दोज पीपल दोज हु आर कॉपरेट ट्रेजर्स दे आर बैंकर्स दे आर ट्रेडर्स और दे आर डीलर्स you know uh, more or less the functionality is same in uh, murix as well as calypso of course the board is little less so we cannot cover everything but we tried and covering majority part of that you know uh, how it moves first of all we need to understand that murix either murix or calypso or we have lot of products they are acting as a treasury management system and they are getting a big scope since after 2008 when the volatility has happened in the market and now after donald trump lot of action is happening in the market volatility is rising and banks are face facing up issues regulation is also pumping up because of these these issues the banks are are automating their automating their treasury function i'm not saying i'm not saying that these uh, uh, these treasury management systems were of no use earlier they are of use but now they are getting a relatively very importance and every second day they are changing their scope this is how it go uh, you you have a calypso front office desk you know a front office desk of any bank assuming this is uh, maril uh, this is uh, anz sydney anz sydney which is australian new zealand bank sydney they are using calypso and they have a front office desk please note that all these uh, names are only for the sake of examples as to make things clear so they have a front office desk uh, they are using calypso they have a front office desk now uh, when we are talking about zero coupon we need to understand that we we can only talk of two kind of traders trader number 1 who is a ltfx traders ltfx long term foreign exchange those who are dealing in longer term more than one year official definition and one is irs trader interest interest rate swap traders no that is why we are covering only two kind of traders rolling traders of course to an extent ndf traders will also play a very very uh, ndf trader will also play a very important role here so you have anz sydney you have calypso you have front office traders here you have ltfx trader and interest rate swap traders ltfx traders and interest rate swap traders now there are two kind of feeders which are linked with calypso one is the market feeders now market feeders could be thomson reuters it could be bloomberg it could be tally trader it could be metadata it could be meta trader 4 it could be a web trader and it could be icap so there are lot of videos which are coming lot they are sorry the lot of uh, um, uh, feeders we have in the market though from from where you can take the service so these are the market feeders one is the prop feeders prop feeder means proprietary feeders which is being created by anz sydney and believe me whether it is a murix or calypso or a different treasury management system all have different feeders and all work on a different feeders right because and everybody having a proprietary free feeder also so these proprietary feeders will link with interest rate benchmarks which we are showing here these interest rate benchmarks are libor london interbank offer rate euribor sonia sony as a sterling overnight index average which is for gbp jaibor japanese interbank offer highbor hong kong interbank offer mybor mumbai interbank offer rate my4 mumbai interbank forward offer is ois curves overnight index swap curves and irs curves these are the various interest rate benchmarks now these interest rate benchmarks are sometimes uh, they are they are being fed both by market feeders and prop traders so i repeat this front office desk is in sync is having connected with two feeders market feeders and prop feeders these both are connected with interest rate benchmarks these interest rate benchmarks are this like libor is in five currencies and 15 denominations euribor is about it's about euro interbank offer rate and so on and so forth now whenever people come with this with the zero coupon curve they come up with a tenure we never use word tenure we always use in foreign exchange we always use the word tenor T E N O R. Now that tenor word which we are using, that tenor sometimes is a standard and sometimes is a non-standard. Now what do you mean by standard? Standard is one month, three months, six months, nine months, seven months, eight months. What is non-standard? One year, three days. One year, fifteen days. Two months, eighteen uh, days. These are non-standards, and these are known as offset points. 
as both we mentioned standard offset points and non standard off offset points these standard and non uh, non standard option points are internally linked with interest rate benchmarks of uh, calypso and uh, and murex also the structure is more or less same right now that is linked with that is linked with your proprietary uh, you know you know uh, these are the prices there are prices which are created by calypso there are prices which are prop prices which are created by the anz sydney and remember this word these prop prices every price whether it is a long term foreign exchange contract short term foreign exchange contract or any price any price having one important fact which is implied walls and these implied walls are connected are linked with these interest rate curves and these implied walls are coming up from prop feeders also take an example you take five banks jp morgan chase city bank hsbc deutsche dbs uh, bank of america merrill lynch anz sydney westpac or take multiple banks right and you just tell them that you wanted to take a buy put contract simple buy put contract and tell me the pricing i will tell you that the price which they give if you calculate the standard deviation of the price it would be at least 25% the reason here is the implied walls because these implied walls are assumed up by the traders and these traders have their own view although if you read our videos carefully then you know that implied wall is nothing but realized wall plus minus expectation and realized walls is nothing but historical wall minus outliers historical wall is nothing the original uh, you know value or original volatility of a uh, original volatility of a particular currency and commodity and all and these prices will get implied fall from the prop feeders and from where you will get something which is known as zero coupon curves which you can very well see this is a place holder these zero coupon curves are being used by ltfx traders and interest rate traders to price the derivative instrument so everything is connected with each other and believe me that calypso and murex both have almost similar kind of structure the only difference is how you fetching up the data little bit change in the regulatory little bit change in the reporting section of that take a look at that i will repeat again you have a front office desk and here we are taking two traders ltfx traders and interest rate swap traders these traders have the feeders market feeders are like thomson reuters bloomberg you are uh, meta trader 4 you are uh, your meta trader you are sorry tally trader you are meta trader and so on and so forth you have prop feeders which are created by the companies remember that these prop traders are fed up by the traders fed means uh, the input is by the traders the who are the traders trader are or these traders and the basic thing is the is the implied walls which they have implied walls and the option walls which the people are feeding right and they have a respective uh, view point of that although after libor scandal we saw something which should not happen and the value of that libor scandal was 13 over 1750 trillion dollars but nonetheless they are linked with the interest rate benchmarks these interest rate benchmarks are libor uribor so sterling overnight index rate jibor hibor mibor my4 ois and others they are linked with standard offset points and non standard offset points standard offset points are 1 month 3 months 6 months 9 months and so non standard offset points are 2 months 1 year 3 months 7 years and like that and then they link with prop softwares which is proprietary uh, these sometimes uh, majority of both of them few are prop softwares and few are non prop softwares so we need to clearly understand that and here comes the zero coupon price and these zero coupon price are help are help you to value you are uh, forward forward option forward options forward rate agreement cross currency swaps and there are a lot of things this is a very small part of calypso which majority of the traders do not know generally being ignored up by the traders that uh, this this holds no value but you know this is very important and if as a trader you are not a technological person you don't understand the technology and you are just doing it for the sake of uh, money or for the sake of the job then it is very easy to influence that it is very easy to influence that and that easiness is is is, is not difficult uh, 
let me tell you if i have an excess of implied wall curves which maintained up by the bank i can enter up into and put any implied wall curves because i never be get to know that the final zero coupon swap curves which i am getting which is used to price cross currency interest rate derivative interest rate swap you know uh, long term forward contracts and other they are being impacting or impacted by the law by the wrong implied walls this was about the video you are always welcome to connect with us at uh, uh, my uh, website is www.rajiconsulting.in our email is rahul.magan at the rate rajiconsulting.in you always welcome to give me a call 9899242978 we were extreme to please that now we have our trajic consulting llp capital market technologies academy and using this academy we have emphasizing a lot on the technology and maybe the next 50 60 videos would be more about technology like fix you know it would be like uh, you know i was uh, like uh, Swift technologies, uh, Fix, Calypso, Burex, FIX, Infinitrix, and all. So we would be covering a lot of stuff. So next three months would be very exciting. In case you have any requirement for any training program regarding Burex and Calypso or any kind of consulting, you are always welcome. Thank you and have a wonderful show.